In this video, I'll be showing you how to embed and add custom code to your website. And this is really great if you're looking to add different types of widgets um, that your website could use. I've known that a lot of the entrepreneurs um, that I've worked with and that I've spoken to use widgets like uh, timer countdowns, they use Instagram widgets, they use Facebook post widgets, and anything of those in that nature. Um, show it definitely supports it. It doesn't automatically come built in the system. So you will have to go and find those widgets. Um, and when you find one that works for you, copy the codes and then come back here and add it. So I'm actually going to show you exactly how to add it to your template. So one widget that you could use is the Instagram widget. Now I know that the template automatically comes with, um, the, the look of what would be an Instagram feed up here. Essentially, you can leave it like this. Um, this is something that's an alternative. If you choose not to add an Instagram feed, what you can do with this section here is just click on the images and change them out manually for whatever you prefer. And you can do this for all the images here. The other option that you have is, oh, and I oh, before I actually go past this, so I know that you can only visibly see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these images, um, but you can see that there's nine, and there's um, some images that are actually overflowing, and the reason why I did that is because if there's a bigger screen viewing your website, you at least wanna make sure that top bar is still full with images. So when you're changing out these images, and if you choose not to go with an Instagram whip, um, widget, that would utilize a code, make sure you click on these like this and come here. And you wanna do that for every single one when you're changing out the images. Make sure you don't miss image eight and image, um, no, excuse me, image one and image nine. Cause you can see if I click on them, they actually don't show up cause you don't see the door. It's showing right here. And you also don't see that open book. So make sure you're able to click on those and change those out as well. All right, so let's go ahead and if you don't plan on using this and if you actually want to use your Instagram widget instead, you would come right here to these three dots and click delete. This will completely remove this and in exchange, what you can do, let me close this off. You would come here to the iframe that's already set up. This is where we're gonna put in a widget code and this is how you would embed any type of code that you'd like. So if you double click on it, you can see that this edit code box pops up and you would go ahead and paste any Instagram widget code that you'd like. Now something to be mindful of because it's following this type of format, make sure that your widget um, is set up with the proper parameters, you wanna make sure that each square is 200 by 200, and you wanna have at least nine images selected so that it can fit across the top of your website in the exact same way the alternative does. And this is where the images would show up similar to the ones that are here. So that's how you would add, um, oh, oh, excuse me, how you would add code to your website. Um, or any widgets. Now, if you need to do this on, let's say an actual page, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new, a blank canvas so I can show you guys how to do this manually. So down here, just for tutorial purposes, I'll show you how to do this manually. If you're not gonna change the one for the Instagram, you would come down here and click embed code. You immediately get um, the code box to pop up. You would go ahead and change the height and the width to whatever you need it to be. Double click, and then again, the edit code box pops up. Paste whatever code you need here, click save, and it'll automatically pop up. Because I didn't put anything, it says it's undefined, which is totally okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that and also delete this canvas here. Let me bring this up. Awesome. All right, and that's essentially all you have to do in order to add any type of additional code to the website that you need. If you have any questions about the process, head over to the Facebook support community and ask for help. I'll be more than happy to assist or email me at hello at bwpdesignstudio.com.